when we behold God's critters, the beautiful animals, and it's an easy sell for when working with little children. You can always tell young people that, well, the beauty of God's creatures would be a reflection of the Creator, our, our Heavenly Father, who creates all things. But you and I are different. We are God's creation, but we are in His image insofar as we possess an intellect to know God, and we have free will in order to choose to love God. Animals act according to their nature, whereas human beings and the angels, we have free will, and especially as created in the image of God, especially as human beings, we can choose to love God. And that at times requires tremendous sacrifice when we choose the ultimate good, like the Christian martyrs, to die to witness for the faith, even to the point of shedding their blood. So whether it is St. Francis of Assisi who bore the five wounds of Jesus, he was a stigmatist, he had the stigmata, or like all of the Christian martyrs that have gone before us, we are reminded that they witness to God's love, to God's beauty through their actions, by dying to themselves, to their selfishness, their egoism, to their self-absorption in order to love. So the next time you are tempted to be pouty or to throw a pity party, make sure that you can always do good for another. And that is the best way to witness to Jesus. So once again, when we look to St. Francis, we know that he was a humble man. He bore the five wounds of Jesus. He had the stigmata. Hence we call him, we called him a stigmatist. And St. Francis, in boring those wounds well, witnessed to Jesus' love. You and I may not have the stigmata, but we can also show Christian witness through bearing the cross, through carrying the little crosses that we're given each day well, without murmuring, without complaining, and to do it joyfully. And spiritual joy is the best way to be a witness for Christ.